I'm Paul Earhart, co-founder of Second Time, and these are my thoughts on the IWC Pilot Top Gun Manufacturer Chronograph. Before we get into the watch itself, let's talk history. IWC was founded in 1868 by an American named Florentine Aristo Jones. He settled in Schaffhausen, Switzerland, which is not traditionally thought of when you think of Swiss watches. Most people think more of Geneva and Schaffhausen couldn't be any further away. But what F.A. Jones actually found in Schaffhausen were modern facilities combined with a watchmaking legacy. More specifically, IWC started making pilot watches in the 1930s and was one of several companies that manufactured wrist-mounted timekeepers during World War II. And their partnership with the U.S. Navy Fighter Weapons School, aka Top Gun, began in 2012. All right, let's get into the watch a little bit. This is a 44 millimeter matte black ceramic case that has a thickness of about 16 millimeters, let's say 15 and a half millimeters. Anything on this watch that isn't ceramic is made out of titanium. So the clasp with IWC engraved into it, the case back with the Top Gun logo, the pushers and the crown are all titanium. Overall, I really like the look of this watch. It's definitely much cleaner than the original uh, Top Gun piece that was released in 2012 the top gun had an engraving right here on the side of the case and it was a full color case back so that was definitely more of a show piece and this is definitely a bit more uh subdued and stealthy so this watch uses the caliber 89361 flyback chronograph so one of the things i love about this movement is the fact that instead of having two sub dials one for the hours and one for the minutes they've combined the hours and minutes sub dial to keep track of a 12 hour interval. So it reads very naturally versus a, versus looking at two registers. So it's 10 minutes and it's about 10 minutes and 10 seconds there rather than looking at it and saying, okay, there's 10 over here, there's 10 over there and just trying to, trying to get your bearings on it. I also like the fact that it's a flyback, which means it can be instantaneously reset to zero without stopping. So all you do is we press the bottom button here at six, uh, here at four o'clock, and it resets the chronograph for you on the fly. Also worth noting is that because pilot watches need to maintain some sort of anti-magnetic case design, this is features a soft iron inner case to make sure that the instrumentation in the cockpit won't actually affect the timekeeping of the watch. You see here, this is a uh, sailcloth textile strap, which is common across all the Top Gun pieces. It overall gives it one very complete look, not overly tactical, but more definitely purpose built as opposed to say a steel case with a, a calf strap or something like that, which would feel a little too faux vintage for my taste. Uh, on the wrist, it feels really, really good. It's not too big for me. It's not too small. 44 millimeters is kind of the top end for most people if they have small wrists. So it's still very wearable by almost everyone that can wear a watch. Would I recommend this watch? Absolutely, I would recommend this watch to a person that's already a collector that wants a piece that's very exciting but can wear under the radar and someone who may appreciate the IWC's long history of making pilot watches. Uh, It's not too, like I said, it's not too big, it's not too small, it should be easy enough to wear. I think it would be really hard to have a bad time with this watch. So those are my thoughts on the IWC Pilot Top Gun Manufacturer Chronograph. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information on this watch or to check out any of the watches that we have for sale, please go to secondtime.com. If you liked our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. I've been Paul. You've been you. Take care.